Hey guys, Simon Davis here, Zone Trader. Welcome back to another episode of Forex Gold 3. I think there's only going to be three in this uh, series of videos of Forex Gold. And this is the third one. A whole year of watching ICT, and I only really, really clicked on how powerful this is last week. Um, I believe this, what I'm going to show you today, is the missing piece of my ICT puzzle to finally get consistency in the market and practice patience. ICT talks about Alexander Elder's triple screen using the weekly the daily and the hour. Your weekly as your directional premise, the daily as your setup, and the hour as your entry, unless you want to go down to the 15 minute and enter. You can also use the four hour, the hour, the 15 if you would like as well. So you've got higher time frame, middle time frame, and lower time frame. And I, I knew that, I understood that. The missing piece of the puzzle was the middle time frame is your alarm and it wakes you up to say the next day will be a trade. So your higher time frame, your middle time frame, your lower time frame. Your higher time frame is your direction. In this scenario it's your 9 and 18 EMA on the weekly time frame. If it's heading up or if it's heading down, that's the way you trade, up or down with trend, even in consolidated markets. This is order flow, institutional order flow. So when you're on the weekly, in this scenario, you only buy, look for buys from here. And when they split open, we're in an uptrend. It's quite clear. But it's not always clear when you're in between markets and stuff. So if you've got the 918 email on the weekly, that is your directional bias. And then the then you look for a daily setup. So you pull order blocks, find order blocks. And I'm not going to explain what an order block is in this video because I've gone over it countless times in other ones. So you find the daily order blocks as your setup, or you can find four hour order blocks. But in this scenario, it's daily order blocks. But the missing piece of the puzzle, guys, was if you're heading up on the weekly, if the market's heading up on the weekly, you wait, guys, repeat. You wait for a complete down day before you look for a buy. Now I miss this for a whole year because ICT hides his gold. And me as a mentor, I find that I try and make ICT concepts simple and easy to understand. Fast, simple and easy to understand. So guys, this will be one of the most important things you ever learn in your Forex career. Never ever buy unless you're in a strong uptrend, like here. Never buy um, a market unless the markets come down. So it, oh, you're in a weekly uptrend on the daily now. So, so weekly uptrend, then daily. <clears throat> so the market's going up. So say for instance, you see this down day here, yeah, this down day. This down day is your alarm for the next day. You sit on your hands and do not trade this down candle. You don't trade, don't buy, sell in up markets, only buy. In institutional order flow. I mean, when you get really good at trading, you can, excuse me, you can counter trade trend, but 
it's highly not recommended if you want to find consistency as a new trader or as a developing trader. Once you're like ultimate in the next few years, like two to five to ten years, then yeah, you can trade down. Obviously, I'm not gonna stop you from doing that for the rest of your life. But as a developing trader, guys, and as my mentor said, ICT in a circle trader, <clears throat> he said never trade counter trend trade. So weekly's going up. And the daily, you wait, guys. You've got to wait for a down day. So I'll pull one out. <clears throat> and then once you've got a down day, you then drop down into the hour. And on the hour or the 15 minute, you if you've had a down day, this, this would have been a down day, this day here, then what you do, guys, is you... Wait for Asia, drop down into London, take out stops into an order block, and then buy the market. That's a really good scenario, but this is what happens all the time. Like down day, then you wait for you. You you sit on your hands on this day. Obviously, if you're a really good trader, you can see this order block and you sell it, but only short term. Don't think long term when the weekly bias is going up. Why would you fight the tide? So, the missing piece of my puzzle was basically waiting for a down day on an, up, on an uptrend. And if it's a downtrend, you wait for an up day in order to set up your trade. It sounds weird at first, but if you think about it, it makes sense. I'm trying to delete this. I can't do it. Let's leave it. It, it makes sense um, that you've got to wait for a down day. And yeah, I'll say it loads of times because ICT says it once. And if you blink, if you don't like, not blink, but if you don't um, focus on what he's saying, it will go over your head because I watched this video like 10 times and I still didn't click how important it is to wait for a down day. But I'll show you, like I'll clear my charts real quick and um, show you. So obviously we're in a weekly uptrend. And... There's been a down day here. So if we zoom on to this down day on the hour, which is there, and maybe the 15 minute, which would be nice. So here's your down day. And then you look for a reason to buy. And then the market rallies up and takes out highs. But guys, it even works in two down candles. So if it's a down day and then another down day, you can still sometimes managed to take some pips out the market say for instance um a good scenario like it's been a down day and then you think okay it could be an up day you could get 10 pips out or you couldn't really get 10 pips out but you won't get a setup to buy in this day so you then just sit on your hands again and then you, then on this day you look for a buy and then you could scrape 20 pips at least from market open because market opens and then rallies up, then down, then goes to there and closes. <clears throat> so you can take pips out of the market on, on down um, counter trade trends, but buying, that makes sense. And the market won't like put you on the wrong side of the market because it won't give you a buy scenario there and you can get like 28 pips from there that odd but actually that's wrong because that's not a down day but when there's a down day guys look it's a down day here on an uptrend go down to the hour there's the down day and then I think we've just done that one actually. <laughs> I'll pick another one because that's uh, we've just done that one. Say down day here, down to the hour. Find the down day. And then look for longs. So the market comes out of a out of Asia, rallies up. Don't buy that. You have to wait for it to come back down to a reasonable level and to come back down 
to fill in the gap and if you connect those three together one two three candles it's an order block to buy yeah you wouldn't have got in that day but you wouldn't have lost money because you're only buying but you've got to wait for it to come down and on the day you're trying to buy it's best to wait for the market to go down as well so the market goes up and then you don't there's no order block here to buy that doesn't level up to buy so the market just tries to take out people then comes down into where you know to buy and then it goes up okay so we have a down day here so you, you're sitting on your hands all the way through this day and then Asia you, you wake up and um, in London open kill zone and you, you see an order block to sell but if you're a developing trader don't do that if you see it try it but if you want to consistently be if you want to be a consistently profitable trader only buy enough trends guys so okay so then goes down but right now the markets I think the market's shifted by now uh, on the daily no it's not oh it shifts from here because EMAs are lagging shifts from there because it's a run stops creates an order block also it's like a breaker there as well so the market's come down now and it's going to go up hit the breaker and then drop to take out lows here so let's see we've got an up and a down day in a weekly uptrend drop down to the hour and then you've got your order block there comes up down and then once it comes down on the day after the down day you buy it then the market comes down and you buy it again then as the market goes up it, it comes down puts some going to an order block and then goes up takes stops and then plummets the market goes sideways into an order block and then up we go and that's when market reverses well gets ready to do a reversal so that's it uh, three three screens triple screen alexander elder so so to me by ICT and that was a missing piece of my forex puzzle of ICT is when you're in a downtrend when you're in an uptrend let's see when you're in a downtrend it works the same but the other way around so we're in a downtrend so because we're in a downtrend you look for up days so there's an up day you sell it up day even that you can still get 60 up pips from it up day sell it up day sell it up day then the next day sell it but you're waiting and sitting on your hands on these up days um like i was saying the other day fall in love with the opposite direction to trend because that is basically an alarm bell on the daily so you've got a daily candle going up alarm bell is ringing in your ears to say next day look for a sell in the direct look for a trade in the direction of trend market goes up 15 pips comes down this is day trading anyway and you can hold if you if you're a position no a swing trader i am mainly a day trader so so you got also you can you into you integrate it with order blocks as well. So you've got an up an up day and then you can set up a sell as well. So you can sell this, but then it comes back into the order block after the up day. You look for a sell. So you wouldn't really find a sell here. You wouldn't really find a sell there. But you would find a sell here and you'd find a sell there, and then 
the market drop. So you're in line with market order flow this way. So you've got your high time frame, your mid time frame, your lower time frame. High time frames for your, di um, for your direction, your directional bias. Your mid time frame is your alarm bell. So if it goes in the opposite direction of the trend, that's great because it's setting up your trade for the next day. And then you've got your entry time frame on the hour. You can also do it 4 hour, hour 15 if you would like. Anyway guys, that's all I'm going to go over today. Um, literally, the missing piece. Maybe, hopefully it's the missing piece of your Forex success. If you're not very new to ICT, if you're new to ICT it's not going to be. But it's going to help you if you break through and understand this sooner. So... That's my aim for you guys, is to break through sooner and live a life of freedom, happiness and abundance. I've been Simon Davis and if you want to connect with me, feel free to connect with me on Facebook. I'll leave my link in the description below. There's people who trade the markets. If you can do it, you'll do it. But if you don't, you'll teach it. So, because you can know all, of, all the trading things in the world, but you've got, not got the discipline and patience which are the two main main factors in your self-development uh, trade and arsenal. To develop, develop the patience to wait for your trades and develop discipline to not over-trade, not be greedy and create a steady growth. <clears throat> One more thing is I trade 2060. 20 stop loss and 60 take profit and I trade in the mindset of set to three and the reason for this is if I lose two out of three trades I'm still 20 pips up if I win two out of three trades I'm 100 pips up and if I win three out of three trades I'll be 180 pips up and that's not bad out of three trades um, and this also helps with not worrying about in each individual trade, if you trade in Z3 or 5, you eventually come up with a ratio, like what I've just told you. If you win 2 out of 3 trades at 2060, you're 100 pips up. So if you can do that every week with a, and eventually get trading pound, pound um, one lot, I say pounds I'm from the UK, uh, if you trade one lot, then that's a thousand thousand dollars or a pound a week and obviously that's only beginning in trading once you uh, break through have the discipline and patience to wait for your trades anyway guys I've been Simon Davis signing off and this has been um, Forex Gold series 3 episode 3 last of the series um, so yeah, if you want to connect with me, feel free to connect with me on Facebook and I'll see you soon guys.